All right, we are live. Hello and welcome, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. We are excited for a return back to Hearthstone. Got a little bit of Hearthstone content scheduled for the day. Let's make this public. All right. Well, I guess we can just kind of uh, dive right into it. Did we, did it just automatically went live on YouTube? That is new and different. But definitely an improvement. Welcome everybody. Now let's do a deck intro and we'll get into we'll get into the game for a change. <clears throat> Alright, folks, the deck is Weasel Priest. The goal of the deck is to shuffle a bunch of weasel tunnelers and albatrosses into our opponent's deck so that their draws are terrible. Shuffle them back into our own deck so that we can. No, that's not what we're doing. And then eventually whittle away at their health total or Win with Rivendare War Rider. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. <sighs> Whizbang looks cool. I haven't actually looked closely at what he does yet, but like... I'm glad that they brought something like Whizbang back to the uh, standard rotation. Tyrande versus Hazelbutt. Hear that song on the wind, dearie? Your path has brought you here. Kind of want to find, um, yeah, insights. Even getting an early dead ringer is pretty important for this deck. Probably just go shadow visions, maybe try and find a palm reading or, or something along those lines, and then go bad luck albatross. Could corrupt both of those, but I think just a palm reading is a good card to get multiple copies of. It takes pride to look this oh no. Uh, that means it's very likely just alignment druid, which I don't have a great chance against. Identity theft, maybe. Yeah, welcome, Kira. Ugh. If it is alignment, this is not a good matchup. Unless it's Mecha Thune, in which case they cannot ever win. That would be ideal. So let's see if we can get some information on that front. Or we could just make a four mana 6 6. That's unfortunate for me. All right. Well, GG, I guess. Uh, 
I bestow these gifts upon the world. The beauty of nature. Wait, everything costs one mana though. Maybe an argument that I should psychic scream stuff into their deck, but that get, leaves me with like actually no win condition. Yeah, welcome here, hater. I can't hold all these. Ar <laughs> you have got to be out of your mind. They're going to overdraw one card this game, and it's going to be that. All right. Surely I'm not dead here. This must be the way. Yeah, it resets the Mali cost, it resets the Kun cost, resets everything. That said, they probably have a second alignment. You are safe now. So I do probably still want to win quickly. Weasel. They probably do need to kill me here from 40 with one mana crystal. Still just dead on board. There's no card that can save them. This is not how we're supposed to win games, let alone this particular matchup.
<laughs> All right. That ferocious house saved. The, the I did say the identity theft. Seems like they might have made a mistake. I think it was maybe more than uh, than singular mistake was the issue there. Horsemen hit hard. Yeah. Me when I venture into the restricted woods in Harry Potter. Also, me when I'm infantry in the Revolutionary War. And I see cavalry for the first time. Uh, let's look for the two mana cards. Okay. The weasel's just always coming back. Also me when I'm a pawn on chest ward, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? What? They can move like an L? <laughs> what is this? Witchcraft. See, that's how I demonstrate how smart I am to chat. I know that the horsey moves like an L in chess. Bet you didn't know I was an intellectual like that. That just unshuffled their shuffle. Speaking of. Job done. Raffle, are you INTJ? Uh, no, I'm a psych major. Uh, so I took that uh, assessment and then immediately learned why it's not a useful tool. and promptly forgot my results. Oh, hey, they drew the weasel. Horses IRL move in L's too. Yeah, that's why they have to make the horse racing tracks look so weird. We go for a Mara in hand or don't because of rat possibility. Uh, the opponent's not running a rat in this deck. This is a, it's an aggressive deck. Hey, yeah, welcome back, Gold Mamba. Oh, I'm dead. Alright. Well, on the bright side, that'll maybe bait more people into playing Steam Cleaner in Steam Lock, or Sludge Lock, and then they'll lose more games. So that's pretty cool. Ta -ra! 
Thunder versus the Lich King. Oh, I forgot my coffee. What am I doing with my life? Will serve me. Now, let's send this weasel back for a moment and then keep the uh, shadow visions. We're looking for insight off of the Shadow Visions. There's a Renathal in their deck. Seems promising. Uh, you're not my supervisor. You're welcome, Agent Orange. This one. Just because we're about to hit a minion with this, and then we can uh, give it the old power word shield. You're welcome, Frisky. Uh, I grant you permission to play the video game. One more death can't hurt. There we go. It works. Weasel. Excavating. Which does mean Reska could be a bit of a liability, or Rivendere could be a bit of a liability with the Reska, but. Eh. Hey, welcome, Lex. Always uh, scream that back into the deck. It doesn't even have to be the first iteration, but eventually I can scream it back into the deck so that it uh, like doesn't get brought back to life.
I think we could just go ahead and psychic stream this, though. And then figure out what we want to do next turn. I, I do want to develop the Rivendare. But I was under a bit of pressure there. Freddie Mercury could relate even. It's tax season everywhere, so oh God. I'll teach you how to cook the books. Okay. Season your books generously on both sides. Then into 450 degree oven for 20 minutes. Okay, but what do we season it with? That's that's an incomplete. Uh, that's a half baked recipe. Thank you anyway, uh, Oxford. Blammo. It's nice of the opponent to run a copy of Astellar for me. It does remind me I need to like start think gathering my tax documents. So that I can shred them, obviously. I don't want the government knowing what I've been doing with my money. What gives them the right? It sure doesn't seem that your time is little. Seems maybe like something else is, though. That brain has got to go. Just uh, trying to give myself an opportunity to um, draw into a seance, which I'm now realizing probably should be a harmonic or a, I don't know, the, the newer version of it, but like, I don't know, nostalgia and all that. Our gift of frost. I wasn't trying to, buddy. You gotta let the IRS know how much Ruffle Incorporated made with that completely legal selling of livers. Yeah, it's like you said, completely legal. I'm doing a service. Should be well compensated for it.
Thank you, Lex. Somebody understands. I mean, that's just kind of funny, right? Welcome, Star Sorely. Is the Death Knight Kobold the well, neutral I excavate Kobold? The cheddar means the skeleton kobold is the dead version of the neutral cards. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for helping me understand that. A charming composition. I speak brain what? No, no worries. Yeah. Didn't realize I needed a translator <laughs> for an English speaking stream. Why are you still going face? Oh, okay, that's why. Well, that clears the board for the Zanoth, which we can then follow up with the, uh, the Ticketus. And then maybe we save the Seance for the Ticketus now. Also, the Ticketus and the Amara will come back here, so that's another opportunity to, uh, to bounce them, I suppose. Burb is a word. No, you are mistaken. It is, in fact, the word. That's the thing. They won't, if we do this properly. Thank you, Oxford bro. this first, see what we get. I should probably start developing these. Because they are cards that do something, whereas Ticketus is a card that does not something. And something is better than nothing. This opponent is sleeping on their keyboard, Lamau. No, you don't understand. See, uh, Raffle, because you let the rope burn for half a second when you were grabbing coffee, you actually deserve this and are just, and the opponent is justified in taking three times as long as you this game. Okay. 
We'll see, we expect it from opponents? Yeah, I should know better. The thing is, like, when I leave, I'm legitimately doing an exam of a very critical and important version of the trolley problem where, like, the, <laughs> the decision is, do I waste my opponent's time so that, uh, you know, they lose a few seconds of uh, game time to waiting, the, watching, you know, me do nothing? Or do I waste, you know, the few hundred people in chat's time with nothing, with no keys to jingle in front of their eyes on the screen for a few minutes? So really, what I can say is, like, you always pull the lever, obviously. I just solved the trolley problem. You're welcome. I'll have you know, in addition to being a psych major, major I took a handful of philosophy classes, so clearly I'm an expert. Like, I don't know why the philosophers didn't just ask me all those centuries ago. Like, it's easy. Wow, thanks so much. I'm a trolley driver hurtling down the tracks to five people tied down, and you taught me that the solution to this is to just start <laughs> streaming on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta tell you, your viewers won't be bored. All right, Dead Ringer is a pretty important card for getting this deck online, so we do want to try and mulligan for him as soon as possible. I don't believe in philosophy. I just think about things really hard and decide how they are from the base elements. Uh, it sounds like you'd make a great podcast host. That's why it took so long to solve the trolley problem. Twitch wasn't invented until 2007. That's a, yeah, that's a big limiting factor. Okay, now it's making sense. I wish that Justin guy had gotten on things sooner. Job done. I guess he was just in time. <laughs> By the Ascended. My Hello. You know, it's not a battle cry menu. Those birds. Billions died completely preventable deaths because Justin was wasting his time going to Yale or something. No, he's a tech entrepreneur. <laughs> I can't imagine he went to school. <laughs> I should probably fact check that. But... Meh. What am I, some kind of responsible journalist? Weirdly, Justin actually graduated from Yale. Literally the only tech entrepreneur to ever do so. All right. Well, I would issue a correction, but as an American, I'm just going to double down on my beliefs and say, I don't believe you. Which Justin are we talking about? Justin.television, uh, the inventor of 
live streaming. They actually uh, made a biopic about him um, before he was even born, possibly? No, before he created uh, Justin.tv called The Truman Show. It's really impressive how they're able to like bend space and time for that. Doesn't the .tv stand for Tuvalu? No, that's just what the liberal media wants you to think. I can't, I can't believe you'd fall for their lies like that. What, Twitch.tuvalu? What are you thinking? Of course not. It's Twitch.television. Everyone knows that. Uh, Justice Grady, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I would appreciate it if you stopped spamming. Uh, advertisements for Justin.tv. Uh, thank you for the bits, though. <clears throat> Is Raffle moving to Justin.tv? Yeah, I got a strike when the iron's hot. Is someone there? I'm gonna have to ask that they like change the uh, the domain name because my I'm I'm not Justin. Well met. Six months of watching. For no one. I appreciate that, uh, JV. Thank you for the six months. Professor Roffle, how many Justins did your liver commit tax fraud on your birthday? And can you make me one too? Hold on. Uh, correct pronunciation of Justin just unlocked? <laughs> what was... <laughs> in what world is... <laughs> Where was Brian born? I need to see his birth certificate. <laughs> hey, welcome, Daily. Uh, the numbers on these minions just do not line up. Which is unfortunate. Rothel is a Brian birth truther. It, yeah. Here's the real truth that, again, the liberal media doesn't want you to know. Brian wasn't born at all. He just like, spawned into existence. Kind of like at the start of a video game when that happens. That's where Brian's come from. How American of you? Someone says something a little different than you, and you immediately ask for their best certificate. I just solved something. Justin went to Yale. I think Brian just exposed our dear founder as the convict he always was. Uh oh. We're gonna move on for that and pretend like nothing was just revealed. I'm no snitch. Uh, I think by American you mean a true patriot, by the way. Now show me your birth certificate. And maybe those like three digits on the back of your credit card? This Anka is kind of nutty. Students, today's class will be outside. Look at the value chat. The value. I'm a simple ruffle chatter. I believe in three things: truth, 
justice, and that tax evasion is cool. You know what's even cooler than tax evasion? Uh, is you're paying your taxes on time and supporting public works. Vote Roffle 2024. Ruffle, what does the tax code in your country of origin say about bits? Is this just a tax write-off? Uh-oh. Uh, bad things just happened. Hold on, I need to process this. Um... I think only in Texas would it be a tax write-off. And a rather big one at that. Rest easy, child. You are safe now. We might have a problem. Look, just because my win condition is completely gone doesn't mean we have a problem. We'll just rely on a comma primes now. For a master tactician, this is not oh no, they just doubled the stats of those weasels. Average chatter here. Destroying the chat with donations is funny. It was funny the last time <laughs> we did it, and it will be funny the next time we do it. I agree. But also, I'm like rewarded financially for agreeing, so. Uh, and actually, like, based on the response from the YouTube comments, it's a, obviously a little bit split, but I think those in favor uh, were still in the majority, so. It's called democracy. We invented it here in the United States, and we expect everyone else to follow our rules. So. Sucks to suck. Why so large? I need a psychic scream or something. Is democracy contagious? Should I see a doctor? Yeah, you're gonna want to get vaccinated those in against it. In the comments had 12 likes. All those against had 12 dislikes. I personally made sure of that. <laughs> Got him. How the turns have tabled. Ruffle demanding our pins and SSNs, philosophizing, and offering free and valuable tax advice. Up is down. It's true. It's true. The times really have been a change, and Bob Dole was right. Uh, thank you, Colin. No one will believe this. If you understood that Bob Dell reference, it's time to schedule your colonoscopy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I need to call my doctor. <laughs> thank you, Eric. Or Collie. That was Collie. I'm losing track. <laughs> Maybe I need to call my neurologist. <laughs> the time has come. Oh no! My favorite thing is about the donations is I can write them on my tax return, but it turned out to be a real taxes. pain in the butt. <laughs> Those were both good jokes too. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eric and Collie, for 
torturing me once again. Didn't get drawn. I got scammed. I can heal I mean, as many times as I want here. Colonoscopies are now a permanent addition to the Rawful Extended Universe. You're welcome. Thanks. I mean, I'm sure you're providing a good service. How in the world have I encountered two steam cleaners today? Service is a professional covet operation. We'll always go to the back door. Thank you, Kali. I knew who that one was from without even looking. Uh, Zanoth doesn't do enough here. It needs to be a psychic scream. Have any minions left? Come Who built this deck? Oh right, they just destroyed them all with a steam cleaner. We get an Amara back from this, is why it's going down here. Bottom 10 cards are just, are my psychic scream, and a hysteria as well. I didn't hit a taunt minion? Unbelievable. Well met. Hey, Ruffle, it's me, the Hi. evil witch that cursed you with 100 years of bad luck. That curse expired last year. You really need to get this checked out. Uh-oh. I will call my, uh, my local warlock then, I guess. Thank you, Kali, for the heads up. And thank you, Joe, for the 38 months. I, I cannot do that. All right, time to find out what strange and nonsensical tech card I lose to this time. Oh, it's just King Spain. <laughs> Hello. 
Here, have some birds. Not Kingsman. Another one of these seems fine. Convert was also a reasonable look, but... Oh, okay, it's Cutlass, sure. This'll be a fun game, actually. Weasel. Ruffle, it's me, your deliver liver deliverer, and some cops drove by while I was pouring livers in the liver hole. I think they saw my truck labeled Ruffle Livers. What do I do? Uh, listen to my instructions and not provide any clear descriptors of the business that we're doing. I don't know. It's not a live, a deliver liver deliver. It's just a deliver, you know? Gotta be discreet. Thank you, though, Star Swirly. I'll check the uh, the liver hole. Which I think is what, like, uh, Liver King just calls his mouth. This doesn't get me value yet, but I do have an Azoth. I don't know. I could consider it. Or I could just play the Weasel. I'm going to lose my mind. Is this three games in a row? This is just getting outrageous. I'm so excited for this year's holiday party. I got some organ themed tinsel for the decorations. It'll be lively liver livery liver for delivery. Yes, that was in fact main deck. Also, I just had a stroke from Kali's message. Please, hospital. This is so stupid, man. I mean, what realistically are people even targeting with Stream Cleaner right now? I'm sure the... They're... That's the same deck. It's the same deck that... <laughs> it makes even less sense now. At least it was an early Steam Cleaner. Yeah, it was an early Steam Cleaner because they're running a card that makes Steam Cleaner make no sense. Steam is in line with the stream where you ran into six sticky fingers when you were playing Spectral Cutlass Rogue, yeah. Don't worry, the YouTube comments will uh, justify it for us and then we won't have to think about the reason behind it. I do that in my druid too. I just make sure I use it before shuffling good stuff in. Yeah, 
YouTube chatters beat the YouTube commenters to it. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Sometimes science does go too far. You are safe now. Ruffle, did you secretly arrange to face these decks just to enrage us? Come on, you can admit it. This is a safe space. Don't you understand? This is enraging me more. <laughs> Uh, the 4-4 is a Dream Petal Florist. The old school activator for the Togwaggle combo. Wow, that was really cool. I personally run Steam Cleaner whenever I play Files of Zin as Shari. Not on purpose, it just <laughs> always ends up being the first card off the top. Yeah. I mean, you're blameless in that one, but I've been there. Thank you, Kali. No, you're three. I thought I couldn't count. Jeez. Sure are some animations, aren't they? Hello, streamer. Hi. I am sending these bits because the funny TTS voice will read these words out. In fact, the TTS voice is saying these words right now. And this word. Oh gosh, I'm in a loop. Rovel. Oh no, the TTS knows your name. I am the TTS. Who am I? What is life? Do I have feelings? Is the TTS in the room with us right now? Thank you, Toasted Hazelnut. Phenomenal value. Bird. Weasel. Yes. Quick chat. Well, Raffle is distracted. Everyone, run. I'm not distracted. You're distracted. Wait, we're playing Hearthstone. Huh. Okay. Okay. Please concede now that maybe. Maybe in this deck, the Steam Cleaner doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Can we, can we agree, finally? Maybe it's not the most logical card inclusion here. I will give no ground on this. Steam Cleaner belongs in the opponent's deck because it was funny when they played it. No. No. 
I can't believe you would betray me like that, Kali. Well met. Psychic scream Amaru into their deck. It never backfires, I promise. I mean, honestly, it probably wouldn't in this situation. <laughs> Just because I'm not trying to kill them with damage anyway. Wait, why did that? What? Oh, their deck is full. They've shuffled too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They... They learned ab... They... They didn't learn. I was wondering about that interaction. I knew the interaction, I just didn't... Realize their deck was full. I forgot. When is Dr. Roffel's birthday? Memorial Celebrity Colonoscopy and Liver Awareness Pro-Am Fun Run Race from Tax Law Enforcement Officers and Selling Nuclear Secrets. Are you just typing Google searches into chat again? <laughs> What's going on? You don't have to pay to... Well, <laughs> Happy birthday. A card being funny is the only metric for determining if it is good. Steam cleaner is great. Like a rare steak cooked in butter with salt and pepper. Okay, if you say so. If you say so. Thank you, Benno. It's the resident chef. I guess I have to take your opinion, uh, or expert opinion on the matter. Uh, I think this summons quite a few things thanks to the uh, Rodden being in there. This dies, but um, there's nothing left on board to buff. Ruffle, will you concede in that the Steam Cleaner is good in that rogue deck if you lose the match? No. Can the cops lie to you when they say that they're proud of you for making a good macaroni art picture of their chief Reddit legal advice? <laughs> yes, unfortunately the cops can lie to you in any context. It's unreal. Even if it hurts your feelings. That's a lot of ribbon dares. Thank you, Colleen. Bird. Life and hope are <laughs> At least that's there's no world in which that is active. <laughs> Blamo. for something that will deep clean my carpeting, preferably with really hot water. Any suggestions? No, there's no such card. Ruffle, if this deck beats you, will you concede that Steam Cleaner is the one true god and sell all your earthly possessions to donate to the Church of Steam Cleaner? Maybe. As long as it's a tax write-off. Look, I could end the game right now. And I think I'm going to because this is hell for me. I need to get out of this.
now I don't have to concede anything about Steam Cleaner. <clears throat> Alright, I need to switch to a deck that does not lose so hard to Steam Cleaner because apparently that's all we're going to queue into. Would you say that game was messy and maybe you were getting a little heated? Maybe. No, no, Steamed. I won't. No, nope, I wouldn't say that. Ruffle, you really Steam Clean that opponent. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Kathandrian and Kali. Alright, folks, the deck is a bomb warrior. The goal of the deck is to shuffle a bunch of bombs into our opponent's deck, wait for them to explode so we can win the video game. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I just had these decks planned for the day. I did not... Th this was no meme that I had set up. I did not expect to see a singular Steam Cleaner today. I forgot the card existed when I was building these decks because it doesn't exist in Wild because it doesn't do anything in this format. Her grapples my hammer till I oh yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of that. Thank you, Swag. Right, we want uh, Kelaseth and one drops. Not. <laughs> I almost said not patches, but I, I thought that went without saying. I guess I should have said it. Okay. Can wrench caliber or use this on the wrench caliber? Did you happen across a monkey paw recently? It certainly feels that way. No, that's Kelaseth. Uh, Wicked is a movie uh, about the Wizard of Oz, I believe. I think SpongeBob is involved somehow, but I'm not sure. Opponent is gonna major domo you probably. I don't think that's likely. To not be sure about the details of the hit Broadway musical is like trying to defy gravity. Is someone there? No, I think that's just the true American ways to be completely oblivious to anything of culture. So I'm doing it right. Thank you, Colin. Look at this value. Look, no point in setting up the bomb shuffles if we're just going to get them steam cleanered anyway. Awful, this is just Pirate Warrior has promised explosions. Uh, we'll CGI them in, in post. What, do you expect practical effects here on stream? My 
Michael Bay here. Did someone say explosions? Yes, and CGI. You came to the right place. Welcome, Michael Bay. Thank you, Oxford, bro. This deck looks awful familiar, doesn't it? Whoopsie! So does... So do these plays. Am I playing against myself? <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. They just mill the reward. They sure did, but like the reward isn't the important part of this deck. Oftentimes. So it's not necessarily the end of the world. It's just funny. Never gonna out armor their damage anyway, so just try and keep them in one bomb range and hope that they draw one here. It's not very likely. Although they are drawing two cards here at least. Hey oh! One hundred percent of the time it happens every time. Seth. Well, only got a wrench instead, so that's pretty good. I do okay. What are you looking forward to the most next expansion? Uh, the full release of Balladro. <laughs> hey, GG, Baron. Doesn't seem like it'll be a good matchup for me, does it? Scream for me. Yeah. So maybe 
maybe we can just go face. Haha! We do have, uh, what, 7, 35 damage worth of bombs in there? We've created a temporal anomaly. My power is as infinite as the stars. A costly error. Am I dead? So, there's no way that I can take Lethal off the board here, right? This is 16, 18. So we just go with the uh, Giga Chad line. They either need to draw two bombs or one mine. One? Can't draw the mine, that's a death rattle effect. Yeah, you're right. It's a death rattle effect and only a death rattle effect. Not anymore? No, it was never a death rattle effect. The death rattle was added, it was always Battle Cry, wasn't it? Fairly certain. Because I took Dead Man's Hand. Iron Juggernaut Warrior to like top 50 legend one month. Yeah, it was a battle cry. I remember Brand being in that deck. Stupid sexy patches. I could at least draw Keliseth if I'm gonna hit the patches again. Imagine drawing patches in two games out of three. Yeah, it couldn't be me. <laughs> That's some absolute nerd behavior. All right, who's ready to get steam cleanered again? We'll get steam cleanered by this opponent who is clearly playing Plague Death Knight. Rothel, what you and Patches do in the privacy of your own pirate ship is between you and Patches and Kelizar. Yeah, don't ask, don't tell, right? I guess we've moved past that, but... I mean, pirates are sort of Navy adjacent. 
Thank you, Cathandria. Yep. Can't wait for the steam cleaner. Here and here next turn. And then here and here on the follow up. Is there anything in the wild that improves the plague deck over its standard version? Um Yes. You encounter matchups that are of a higher power level than in standard. So you lose. Cold Light Oracle? Cold Light Oracle does not belong in Plague Decks. The Stormwind Navy's regressive policies on beholder human relationships have been cloaked under the false guise of unit cohesion for too long. Even the Spartans loved their comrades. I don't see why I shouldn't smooch the slimy guy. Yeah, there's nothing that brings an army together. Like just bros being bros, you know? What's a, what's a few smooches between comrades? Or brothers in arms. I mean, as long as they're not like actual brothers. Oh, that's not active. This is not what we stood for. That hits Primus, Reska, Marrow Jar. Everyone knows they were only saving Private Ryan because he was such a cutie. <laughs> uh, well, since I've never seen that movie, I can say with certainty that that checks out, yeah. Looks like Reno DK so far, does it? I mean, it, it's Renathal, right? So we wouldn't expect to see duplicates necessarily this soon. But there's nothing I've seen to indicate that it's Reno. This is the true Bomb Warrior and Plague Death Knight experience. <laughs> Five. Thirteen total cards shuffled, none of them drawn. <laughs> Nobody drew a shuffled card. <laughs> Alright, I'll bear it back. I need some water. The 
Anathrius versus Malfurion. Feel the power of the wild world. Let your penance begin. Tell us up on curve. And we didn't yet draw patches. Impressive. Oh yeah, I can make a 2-2 two, too. Two, two. What's going on here? Are they aggro? Renathal? Someone's gotta lead the charge. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Job done. So many trains, I couldn't decide which ones to cut. Of all the decks that I could think of to include Renathal in them. This would be near the very bottom of the list. It's Trino Druid, they've already played two adorable infestations. How is this a deck from the past? Bomb Warrior? Yeah, you're right. Nobody ever played that. In the history of Hearthstone. Don't you miss the voice line? I'm in charge now. Uh, not as much as I don't miss Patches having charge. So, if that's the trade-off, yeah, I'll take the current version of Patches. <laughs> Which noob lost a Renathal aggro druid? Old bomb warrior had pirates in it. I'm so confused. LOL. Yeah, I think you might be. That's all right though. Denathrius versus Tranda. Okay. I guess we just unnerfed blast from the past. Let your penance begin. Giga Chad Cho Gall Gamer. Are you streaming on YouTube too? No, I was just talking to somebody. Uh... Wait, where'd they go?
What about playing bad decks from the past? You can even be the first streamer to do Beast Mage. I mean, Beast Mage is obviously inferior to Murloc Mage, though. Joe Girl Shadow Priest, I like the cut of their jib. I think it's just probably Reno. Which is going to be a good thing for me. Hey, Raffle, good old Bomb Warrior, huh? Uh, no, I've been told that this is not actually a deck from the past, like the title suggests. So, just Bomb Warrior, not old. This original patch is the most unbalanced card ever. It's definitely up there. But, I don't know. I don't think that that's... It is impossible to distinguish between... <laughs> A singular best card or most broken card. Not my jugs. This is off curve, but I don't want to leave a weapon exposed right now. Surely there's some version of patches that is both balanced and has charge. Yeah, you can make him a 1-0. Get that? I think a 1-0 would be perfect. Maybe a zero zero. No, pa uh, pirates are you know fundamentally fairly aggressive, so it, it makes sense that he would have more attack than health. Zero negative one. Actually, yeah, that's maybe a fair point. We don't want to give, like any opportunity for a South Sea Captain to pull him out or anything like that. Scream for me. Look, the correct play is just to slam the hearth here. But I've got more bombs to shuffle, you know? That's a bit of a problem. Talk about a card from the past, huh? Maybe the mill rogue hand? Oh no. I was never, never good at the <laughs> patron warrior. That said, it's probably lethal, right? Five, eight, nine, here. Never mind. I 
do have to give up a bomb here to set up more damage. Should allow me to make what six patrons? That's eighteen, twenty-two, twenty-four. The light has me. Yeah! Our gift of frost us. Aren't you one mana short? Three, five. I don't have the damage. That's the primary concern what now. To do, what to do. But we can just set up the Berserker as well. They counted the Berserker too? I mean, I didn't because I said I was going to summon six patrons. Hit this? Well, I don't get the berserker after all. Thank you. I guess the Mecha Chicken wouldn't have allowed the uh, Berserker to to go in, but it's fine. We can just make a tempo play. This also protects against the uh, Astalor. Why is everyone so smug when they disrupt combo? Um, well, because they spend hours upon hours upon hours uh, playing a dead card that does nothing for them. So they get really excited the one time it, it actually gets to be played and do something relevant. That's a choice. I think they probably, well, they might have known it was going to happen, but just didn't see an out. But given their hesitation and in, into concede, maybe not.
It's just like when my fail son your ball scores a goal at lacrosse, we don't get a lot of opportunity to celebrate most of the time so we throw a real rager when we've got something to cheer about. Yeah. Poor Job. Jorball catching strays. <laughs> Thank you, call it. Alright, keep the Kelaseth. We'll look for... Um, I don't know. One mana stuff, I guess. Oh, really? I doubt that was worth the coin, but like, see Keliseth on coin, play Keliseth on coin? I don't know. Who's ready to see a steam cleaner? I'm just kind of curious. I've never seen this card played before, but it looks fun. <laughs> Wait, it's a 50-50 when they're the same? Oh my god. What a deck. Imagine they shoved a bomb to the top of my deck. It would be pretty funny. It's just a tie and nothing happens? Oh, okay. I thought it revealed it because it was dying. Wait, they got our patches and drew it. Oh my god, you're right. Opponent's deck is so busted, it can make them draw patches when he didn't even start in the deck. Is that busted? <laughs> Thank you, Kali. I think that just demonstrates how strong our deck is. We go here and whatever that thing is. Well, we did it, chat. We found... Not only a pro an opponent running tech cards, but an opponent running only tech cards. No duels today? Uh, what does the title say? Wait, sorry, I can't read. I shouldn't have necessarily... Uh, Hero pad there. I could hit something worth checking out. Like, specifically, an upgrade would have been worth considering. I don't know if I would have played it, but I should have. Uh, 
Oh, now they can seance that, shuffle the patches back into their deck, and draw patches properly. Why'd you scream, lol? Look, if you're not gonna pay attention, I don't know what to tell you. You can, like, copy off of your neighbor's notes, don't ask me. I don't have anything scary shuffled in my deck anymore, do I? I mean, they do have eight bombs in there, but of course they're not going to draw them. Here, loot? What more can I ask for? Here, here, I can bop here and go face. Okay, maybe I should consider not drawing as many cards as I have been. They have 10 of these cards are either mines or bombs. We'll just get the Togwaggle Druid hand. Now you're thinking. Why'd that go face? Right. 
They drew zero bombs? Well met. Hi, Roth. Another monthly shipment of liver for Brian. What seasonings does he get this time? You think I'd let him season his food? Nice try, and dead fish. Not for my fault. Scream. Okay, this puts them in one bomb range. It's a big weapon. Job done. There are 13 bombs in their deck. At least we know the Reno's offline. <laughs> they almost got there. Well All out of cards. Let's see what hand we actually get. How is this possible? Appreciate you, big dog. Thank you, Alex. Look, I'm going to force them to draw a bomb, whether it's the last thing I do. Even if it makes me lose this game. DRAW A BOMB! What's your fruit tier list? I think pineapple is easy S tier. I don't really eat fruit. <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified for this. Okay, sure. All out of cards. This is actually just unreal. Draw a bomb! Wow. I'm actually just done. I cannot believe how unlucky that was. The bombs are clearly super heavy. They're all at the bottom. I'm gonna lose my- I hate Bomb Warrior so much for this very reason. And then, like, because their hand was full, I couldn't even set up a bomb kill. I just had to swing with the weapon. <laughs> what an unbearable deck. I missed what, like, six, like, eight consecutive bomb draws? Eight consecutive 50-50s? Were they Renifal can have helped? I mean, they were, but that doesn't... <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that half of their deck was bombs. By the end of it, more than half of their deck was bombs. Almost uh, two-thirds of their deck was bombs by the end of it. <laughs> Having a different denominator doesn't change the probability. Alright, 
keep the uh, small time. Yeah, they also have the 10 damage mines. Like they that that was unbelievably unlucky. What's cooking? Someone's got to lead the charge. My warmest greetings to you. I too like to spend my most valuable resources on turn 1 as a tempo play. Scotland, isn't it? I mean, if it is, that I they, I don't think there's any deck where it makes sense to make the play they did, but it makes less sense with uh, if it's part of a combo deck. Oh, sorry, I'm muted. I made a really funny joke, so make sure and laugh. Anyway, here comes the steam cleaner. Uh, it can burn through the weapon to get the weapons expert to draw the wrench caliber now. Or there's no need to. How would they know to pick Steam Cleaner? Don't bring logic into this, okay? <laughs> if if logic applied here, there wouldn't be a Steam Cleaner to begin with. But yes, it would be very suspect if they happened to know to draw the or to choose Steam Cleaner. Did they draw a bomb? Yes, but when I didn't want them to, because they could be Reno. So I need to make sure two bombs go into deck next turn. I wanted that. This guy lives. So it is still going to be two bombs, but if they draw one, it's a bit of an issue. Scream for me. This is 
theoretically the Reno turn, so just don't draw a regular bomb. Thank you. Do you have this in a bigger size? Not for my fault. Oh, hey, I'm running that card. Probably just go here. Or I can take the 50-50. Nah, let's do this. Scream for me. Boom! Also boom. Is here yesterday, Hearth was not kind. He's been okay today, but then my opponent's draw order was the thing that was not kind. Okay, now Reno is doubly offline. Do we go for Arthur? We will after we get the, like, bomb cards out of hand. The way opponent using control resources is hurting me. It's helping me, though, so I'm into it. Look, sometimes the cards are just green. Worst part is they play like that and win. I don't think that's what's happening here. Okay, maybe it is. Is that a duplicate? No, they just got really lucky to draw it into there. Okay, maybe they will win. No bombs at the bottom, they there could have been. They don't draw those cards, so Spinley doesn't do anything for bombs. It's 30 damage. Which is less than 36. No bombs, of course. They do uh, theoretically have to trade. Dej, uh, me when I can't count. I am going to be dead on the backswing, which is its own problem. And I have no way to prevent that, so we hearth and pray. I have exactly 32. Do I have to get lucky off of this? Or is there a defile I can set up one? One, two, three. I 
might have to leave this so it goes face. Surely we're safe, safe at two health here, right? Because they just draw three bombs. Unlucky. Bombs? Oh my god. I hate this deck so much. Once again, we're at one third of their deck as uh, explosive material. I hate Bomb Warrior so much. It's actually... <laughs> Just an uh, excruciatingly tilting deck. Had an out with Doomguard, right? I mean, sure, we also had an out with... <laughs> sure. We also had an out by just surviving the turn, which we did in most circumstances. All right, I'll be right back. To discard Q, but also Lothab was active. I think the play was Doom Guard face, hope they draw one bomb, which they didn't. But I'll be right back. Hitting Deathwing even enough to discover was bonkers. I mean, the combination of. There are a lot of really bad 8 drops in Wild. Kel'Thuzad and um, Deathwing. I think Kel'Thuzad carried pretty hard early because it resummoned the board. But after they were forced to trade down.
Faceless Doom Guard was 75%. Oh, yeah. That could have worked. I didn't realize. I forgot there's a faceless in hand. Either way. I'm sorry the man in your screen didn't, screen didn't play with his toys the correct way. That must be devastating for you. <clears throat> All right, folks. The deck is Nazoth Milrogue. The goal of the deck is to put up a wall of taunts that our opponent can bash their minions into until we set up a brand Cold Light Oracle with Shadow Step so that we can empty their deck and force them into fatigue. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Depending on what type of priest deck it is, we might need to go infinite, so probably need to send that back. Okay. Hopefully it's not aggro. We're dead. GG. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no chance in this matchup. This is the opposite of the type of deck we want to queue into. Appreciate that, Gulk. I mean, we do have a 5 and a 6. It's just like the Mind Blast over the top is a lot of damage. Deck is busted. Surprising amount of new cards, yeah. Surprisingly few people playing it that I encounter as well. But uh, This could get me there. The combination of these two. A Death Lord would have been nice, but... There's a chance. The patches draw definitely helps. Thirsty Drifter a little less, but at least it didn't get pipped. Okay, we're doing something. The shoot pirate. I suppose that's as good a time as any for a mind blast. just here and here. I will absolutely shadow stop this if I get the opportunity though. I'm not too proud for that maneuver. The problem is we don't currently make it to the Nazoth just from uh, what's coming at us. Well... This might be the worst matchup. It's definitely up there. Because it's 
arguably the best uh, aggro deck right now. This is not what we stood for. I can't play the cold light right now. Break it, you buy it. Break it, you buy it. I think I just have to let that be on the board. Get some armor next turn. And I dodge hero power damage to face. The shadow engulfs us. I'm dead. That's one turn away from stabilizing. Oh wait, I mismathed. We're alive? Rotten to the core. You cannot escape the shadow. Ooh. cloak or something. Oh, no. That's actually... No, that's fine. That's just... Surely that's a good draw. Because that means minions. Mind blasts are gone, right? You have been. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Opponent drew just abysmally. The old one health in a dream, I guess. Valera versus Corona. Clearly the mirror match, right? Shall we dance? I'm not expecting to see a Renathal rogue here. I'm gonna hold the coin, see what they're uh, up to first. Never mind, is it just like Renathal King's Main Rogue? Death does not scare me. It sure is. Blood 
It's a silly concept. It what like there was a time where it was actually the way to build Kingsbane Rogue when uh, like pre Renathal nerf. Kingsbane is still good. No. I mean, it's like a competent deck, but they're it's not well suited for the current meta game. And these are not cards that uh, it would normally run either. Like, that's honestly just kind of fine getting their weapon fetches out. Yeah, I have no problem with this. I haven't played since Odd Demon Under Meta. I can't believe Kingsbane is still a thing. I mean, it's, Don't again, it's not. Don't listen to Ruffle. Kingsbane is busted. Always check Sticky Finger into your deck. Especially if you're in the Platinum to Diamond ranked band. Yeah, it's surely no uh, ulterior motives there. Thank you for the tip, Kali. Just need to draw the uh, Zenoth. You impress me. Let's get evasion value while we can. I don't want to shuffle them and brick my draws. Armor, armor, armor. Like we're probably just on the shuffle Zanoth game plan anyway. Until we hit the lab recruiters. Singular. Maybe they're playing Valera's Gift. Uh, I don't know what that card does. But that is a rather large Kingsbane. Do I ever take a gamble here? They're running a lot of cards and have a lot of cards in hand, right? No, just a Doomerang kills. You impress me. So we're pretty much on the draw. Valera or Zanoth game plan. Better safe than sorry. I mean, not necessarily, right? Because like... If we use a cloak when we don't need it, like right now it's not getting any value, then that's not the safe play, is it? Like here, we can definitely use a cloak of shadows right now. That's all for now. I think because I didn't have the Nizoth in hand, I probably needed to wait. But yeah, they, it was pretty likely that we... I needed to take a gamble there. It's pretty likely they that it didn't pay off and they had like a Doomerang or even a Flurry into Instrument Tech. But also I don't win <laughs> if I don't make take a gamble on one turn, right? Like the same thing happens. Whether I lose that turn or the turn after, it's essentially the same. Shall we dance? Uh, 
Oh, this is why I kept the armor vendor. Oh. Yeah, this opponent did not draw extremely poorly, so seems bad for me. I appreciate that power. It's fine. Heals for five now. I think the Cloak of Shadows can suck up more damage later. So this opponent did not draw poorly. This is a better representation of what the deck can do. And I don't ha quite have the taunt train that I had last turn, last game. survive this. Kind of want to see this die before I play the uh, Vanish. Just die to a Mind Blast now is the problem. Yeah. Uh, that's honestly a better representation of how the matchup usually goes. In fact, it's Generally, probably over long before turn six. I think probably 50% of my losses in a wild or to hyper aggro builds like this. Uh, well, what deck are you playing? Look for a slightly better early game than that. Like a Death Lord. Oh, 
All right, which one of you is this? Okay, it's a, it's a very different build. Thank god, I did not want to get into like a true mirror match, that was going to be a nightmare. It's not the easiest card to use in the matchup, so let's do that. They gave their progress and then start making our own. There's a singular bad hit for me off of that uh, Death Lord in my deck. So. Hope that doesn't happen here. Okay, their build is very different. There's just. It might even just be like Reno Rogue, and there just happens to be a, a Death Lord in there. Just use the other vanish here. Which will kill this and burn a card. My hand is too That's a good card to burn. Death does not scare me. Was the win condition of your deck? Uh, we make the opponent's life total zero. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. Predictable. I know all the steps. Let's see if we can burn Reno, just in case he is in there. Success. Death does not scare me. My hand is too full. All right, Reno is the only card I really care about in their deck, so I'm glad he's gone. They didn't need that Reno anyway? Yeah, nobody did. Nobody needs Reno. Stop running them. But I do think I hit maybe two of their strongest cards in the matchup. Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, there might be a Nazoth, which also would be an important burn. Yeah, there's probably a Nazoth, but we got the Reno. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too concerned about what else we hit. This is not what we stood for. Maybe this will hit the Nazoth. I'll take it. It's just a Death Lord class reunion. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Only one mage secret there. Good for the Nazoth. It's fine. Rotten. 
more. Well, that one wasn't so good for me. Can you stop? I triggered every single secret. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> Unreal. Normally I just, like, freeze and don't do anything, but... Oh, that's going into the test now, isn't it? Oh. Burge. It's my last shadow step, so I do need to find the gang ups pretty soon, I guess. here to find it because I don't need to hit the other Azoth just yet. Trying to dump cards. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Is not the like I have one minion left, two minions left. Is this the test? Oh no. Oh no. Three that goes to eight. Okay, we hit him. And we hit that. Which means I want to go here. Take 
kill that. Play the Vanish. Hit here. Play the bird. And burn the Tess. Not quite. That is there. This off, it was inevitable. Turns out this matchup is still a nightmare. But we did draw all over in his ass. These Death Lords are actually kind of a problem. It's too much mana. Death's shadow grows. I want you and you and you. I want you and you and you. One death lord, I should probably just do this for safety.
two Death Lords. One that dies. That Rokara is a bit of a bummer though, isn't it? Finally, we did not get the tailings. Almost out of cards. It's thirty six damage with the brand double cold light. It's fine. Wait, that just made it lethal. Although I would die too. I want you and you and you. Okay. Oh, that was going to be a huge whoop. Anyway. I want you and you and you. I want you and you and you. I'm out of cards. All right, jeez. in his off, isn't it? I think I have a big enough buffer that I can just go brand cold light, so as long as I can clear two minions, it'll be GG. And so it is. Step right up! Ooh. Had to work for this one. Like that, if that Reno were allowed to be played, it would have probably gone horrendously for me. Give me one second, actually. I'll be right back.
was a fun one? Yeah, but it hurt my brain. One hero power on two, have the tail end to hit the Nizoth. Yeah, welcome, Alvar. Doing all right. I mean, there's plenty of time, you're just taking it all. Continuing to take it all. Elemental Shaman. That's probably fine. Break it, you Guess it depends on how big the scar gets. Hey, welcome, noob. And how many taunts I can get down ahead of the Zanoth. Did they forget to attack? Vanish would be nice. They're not attacking my face? Okay. We're just going next. That is some weirdo potentially bot behavior. that I am just not interested in. Interacting with. Valera versus Dawn Grass. Ready to get Scott? Let's keep the prep swindle. Kind of hoping to hit one of the early go. Ugh. Exclamation point costume singer. Probably need to hold the armor vendors. Definitely holding the evasion. It doesn't really do anything.
I have easy tests for um, counterspell, just not objection. I also can pretty easily block the rig fair game. Okay, that's new. Yeah, this is one I'm willing to give away. Nice. Frostbolt, what was the other? Arcane Intellect and Fireball. Well, we know it's not uh, Objection. An embarrassment of riches. Like it might be Reno. An embarrassment of riches. Didn't really burn anything that important, I guess. Gang up on Astalor is one plan? I mean, yeah, but that's that's boring. Anyone can win with Astalor. Most mages nowadays play Objection, Ice Block, and Counterspell. That is... factually inaccurate. <laughs> Most mages in Wild are... Reno Quest Mage and run just the ice block. And then Secret Mage does not run ice block. So I don't think that there is a single uh, meta mage deck that runs those three cards together. This is not what we stood for. My Meta Mage deck runs those three cards together. It's called a Meta Mage because it's referencing this conversation right now. <laughs> uh, that'll show me. You tried all legendary decks. Makes for an interesting restriction. Yeah, I have several videos on uh, doing that. 
done it in many classes, if not most. Rook Fu Master. That card is heckin' broken. Did you know it can attack twice? Planning on doing any arena runs? Uh, yes, uh, that's what I'm most well known for. So, hang tight. Actually, look at that. People are starting to put uh, at least objection in their Reno secret mage or Reno quest mage. Doesn't seem like a good idea, though. That's only one list. Most of the other ones are not. What shall I do? Let's go here for counterspell. And just kill that. An embarrassment of riches. Who knows what secrets will uncover? You burn some! You burn some! No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh man, that is some serious evasion value. I've tested for objection, haven't I? I don't think I have. No, I just played the Vanish. That delay is pretty silly. An embarrassment of riches. 
Don't have to play around the second main deck objection. So we know that cannot be objection, right? Well, I think maybe it actually could. Did it come from the... Look, I haven't been paying enough attention, I'll admit it. Okay. Unless this card is played. And it's a secret. Should not be able to be another objection. Did you hear about the minion that valiantly guarded its rights to its homes and tombs, as well as the right to honk its vehicle horn whenever it wanted? I always loved Cartoot Defender. Same, same. Those uh, stand your underground laws are really important for uh, for him. Thank you, Kali, for the uh, for the bits. Still have to play the Nazoth here, right? Wait, I die. I'm dead. If I play the Nazoth, right? Because they point ten at my face, and that that roll actually just lost me the game. That's an aggravating game. At least they're playing the original deck, good for them. Yeah, it would have been nice if they, like, didn't take twice as long as me to perform their actions, though. Or take twice as long as me in that game. That would have made it more bearable. Also, Mage Secrets and Wilder were still very frustrating. You played too much around Objection. Well, you see, if it was Objection, I lose the video game. So I didn't want to play the card that makes me lose the video game when I would lose the video game as a result of losing the video game. I hope that's clear enough for you. And... Literally, the only reason they had a remote chance was a ridiculous 360 no scope into Norganon. <laughs> you use too little of your brain before typing that message. Intriguing. Just don't think about plays and lose and then complain on Reddit about the meta like a true chatter. Yeah, that's that's all you have to do. It's really quite simple. Thank you, Janae. Dargon. Well, you change decks. Uh, yes. In fact, I have multiple times. Good question. I 
I'm bored from Nazoth. Okay. How dare you imply I would use Reddit? Face like me. my idol, Shane Dawson, I air all my grievances on Instagram Live. I mean, you have to idolize someone, I guess, but I mean, there's gotta be. There's gotta be a better option for you, I believe in you, Colleen. Thank you for the bits, though. It's actually a bit spooky. What if we... Yeah, we can just point a big boy. If you were bored of Nazoth, play something else. Yeah, it's that simple. Nobody has trapped you here and forced you to watch. Why be angry for yourself when you can make your dirty rat onto everyone else's problem on Reddit? <laughs> Yeah, no need for introspection. Just, uh, rage posts. This is not what we stood for. Sometimes I like to uh, walk into like a pizza hut and when I approach the counter and review the menu, I realize it's only pizza. And I say to myself, or no, actually I say to the cashier, oh, pizza? I had that last night. I want something different. Getting kind of bored of pizza. I can completely sympathize. The other day I went to World of Carpet to buy a new telescope but was astounded and disgusted at the complete lack of optical equipment. It's almost as if they purposely set out to satisfy the needs of carpet buyers but deliberately snubbed those who weren't. Yeah, Utter it's... madness. I, I can't believe they would do such a thing to you. I'm sorry, Janae. It's very relatable. here. Mr. Streamer doesn't know about Wing Street at Pizza Hut. We found a small flaw in his logic and now we can dogpile on him. No, here's and the thing. we don't have to feel bad because of the hive mind. <laughs> well, that part's probably true. But here's the thing. I know about Wing Street. It's just their wings are absolute trash tier, so I don't consider them an option. But thank you, Justice Crater. Nice try.
Oh god I've already performed my holy crusade against one chain restaurant. <laughs> I don't know if I can support another event Jason string on my schedule. Look. Most food <laughs> in American chain restaurants is just bad. I don't know what to tell you. My hand is too full. Thank you though, Colin. I know all the steps. Okay, that means there's a Reno in there, isn't doesn't it? Really just trying to burn the Reno. Yeah, that bed and breakfast that is run by six generations of the same family and got multiple awards is alright, but have you tried IHOP? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, they had an MTG uh, thing, right? Gotta get those great pancakes that uh, are, for some reason, like, way too sweet and also made of bricks. Thank you, Janet. Glad somebody understands. Just burn a card here. My hand is too full. I'm kind of afraid to just shove in its off because, like, we know there's a Reno, right? But I can go in his off, shadow step it, and then gang up the second one, and that's probably fine. That's what I've been holding it for. Yeah, I think the Reno is in there, and his the likely situation here but I have a lot of ways to um, they really do like adapting oof what did they have that they chose double can't be targeted as a European who grew up with U.S. sitcom music was really disillusionizing to eat for the first time in America. Like why is grape soda 90% sugar and why does KFC serve Brickstone waffles? But the no-name diners in the South have been amazing. Yeah, no, a hard agree. It's not all American chain restaurants that are bad, it's just... Most of them. Our hardships only strengthen our disease. But local diners or even just like regular restaurants are you can find some good eats. I can't wait for Awful's new Food Jones. Network show Awful, Ashes, and Arson where he burns a swathe of vengeful righteous fury across the terrible restaurants of the West. 
Look, we're not burning anything down, to be clear. Legally speaking, I would never burn anything down. <laughs> Oh, I'm busy. Sorry. I won't be able to to make it. It's a uh, cartoon defender. Probably do want that, even if it means one less board slot here. Rotten to the core. This is a liability for them, right? This also now gets me the Zanoth. So that was definitely the way to go here. Possible we get Renoed here. Is this pure Reno quest? I don't think there's any reason to think that it's pure, right? That wouldn't make sense to do in a Reno duck. more it's like Reno Dragon. But maybe there's a random countess in there that would should sure be something. Oh, it's just lethal, isn't it? No, because of the carryall. Remember this day. All right, chat was right. I was wrong. Clip save, put on a loop on my wall. Imagine not hanging that up in your fridge. Couldn't be me. Yeah, that could mean that there's just no Reno at all, in fact. I'm running out of time. Me too. It's been a long stream already. no real important burn left in my deck at this stage. And honestly, my brain just does not want to do uh, carry all math on the brand cold light right at this moment. So 
So new deck after this run? Uh, depends on who we host. That's a lot of stats. That's main deck, isn't it? Because it can't come off of the invitation. Like, honestly, I <laughs> I don't need to be streaming anymore, but, like, given how insistent everyone is on changing the deck, what that makes me want to do is just, like, keep streaming this deck more. Time slips by. So... I don't know if I can just play the, like, if I play the Nazoth and they actually have a Reno, I lose. How hard are we betting on them not having a Reno? We know one card is Leviathan. Hey, Rothel, could you plaz not stream you eating 13 gallons of Skyline chili anymore? Thanks. I mean, that's an understandable, um suggestion I, th I think we just let them win if they if they have a reno and they've been holding it this whole time they deserve it Did they have a neutral in their deck at all uh not that i've seen but like if there's going to be a singular neutral that you play in your deck it would be reno wouldn't it yeah, this is all held. Wait, isn't that a duplicate? As well, so how does it... Oh my god. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out the stupid Cold Light Oracle stuff though, aren't I? Either way, I think that's an indication that they don't have Reno, because they would have won if they had Reno. That was the issue of, do I die if I play the Cold Light game plan? So I think what we need to do is this. I want you, and you, and you. I want you, and you, and you. And we just go in next turn. Oh, hey, they, they got their legendary treasure. Yeah, this should be lethal. 
right, it's five. And it's not nearly, no like I draw essentially all of my cards. So it's three, six, plus eight. Yeah, that's lethal. I'm almost out of cards. It would have been lethal damage last turn, but I think I might have been at risk of dying just to the uh, lack of cards in my deck. Whew. All right. Uh, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all for hanging out. I will be back tomorrow. Maybe playing duels? We'll see. We'll, we'll start with duels and see um, where my sanity is with um, how long we play it. But basically, I'm just trying to bank as much uh, content as I can so that I can become a dedicated Bellatro streamer next week when it releases. Uh, but thanks for hanging out. Appreciate all the support. And hope to see you tomorrow.